Good night, Oprah. Good night, Ellen. <laughs> you need to break up your man. Every time I come here, your dog fight me. He fight me so hard. You've been a bad boy, Doctor Wu. You've been a little sinner, haven't you? With the lawyer? Living on a prayer, take my hand. <laughs> you are the doctor, aren't you? Funny doctor you are. <laughs> it's time for a little communion. <laughs> Dude, I freaking, I need to see you right now. Oh. It's been a while, I know I don't come see you very often. You don't. No, I'm sorry. Yeah. Sorry, look, it's listen, right. I woke up last night okay. and I couldn't move. I woke okay. up, I felt like somebody was sitting on my chest. I said, hands move, hands move, they're not moving. <laughs> Feet move, they're not moving. I looked to the left, looked to the right, I think they're people out to get me. WTF. What you have is something called sleep paralysis. So the good thing is there is a diagnosis. You're not alone. So, uh-oh, you don't like that. You don't like that answer. I don't like having a diagnosis. What is this thing? So let me ask this. Did you wake up in the morning, like you said, and you know you're awake, and you just felt like, oh, who's holding me back? I can't move? Yeah. And uh, by any chance, you felt like someone was in the room. Someone was looking at you. Yeah, it felt like a demonic presence, actually. I like that demonic presence because you're spot on. You're describing some classic symptoms. So... You know what? Now that you're a little bit calm, okay. let's go back to med school. Maybe that will freak you out. Remember we had two broad stages of sleep, right. non-REM and REM. And the thing about REM is this, is that what makes it so unique, you lose muscle tone. And trust me, Ken, you want to lose muscle tone when you're dreaming. Why? You don't want to reenact your dreams. And uh. it's kind of like a protective mechanism. So in some individuals, when you wake up, your mind's awake, but your body is still stuck in that REM. So you can't move, and it is scary. So, why are you having people in the room, these, these illusions? So your body wants to wake you up. You come in this hyper-aroused state. And so you start visualizing things in the room, kind of like in movies. Like, what would be a good example? In the 1970s, this was the answer for alien abduction. These people standing in the shadows. You're paralyzed, you can't move. Back to college, little Romeo and Juliet, the old hag. So this has been, depending on the country, the culture, the year, this has been going on for quite a while. Hmm. So why can't you breathe? So there is something called obstructive sleep apnea, very common. You know what I'm talking about, yeah, people yeah. that snore and what's going on, mm -hmm. is that we see sleep apnea the most in REM. So when you're in that state, you can't get the breath, your sh breathing becomes very shallow, so it's scary. You're, you're catching your breath, you can't move. You're seeing people in your room. Mm -hmm. After all that, reassurance. You're going to be okay, bud. But let me ask you a few things first. Mm -hmm. How has your sleep been these last couple of days and weeks? Not as good as it should be. I mean, what do you mean by that? All right, so here I am. We're, trying, we're shooting lots of episodes. We're yeah. up late at night <laughs> trying to write these new episodes out. And All right, so there's been a few karaoke binge nights out. You know? Oh, and now when you binge, are you talking about uh, alcohol? They don't put you on the spot Maybe. there. So those are the two main risk factors. Number one, uh. sleep deprivation. Why? It's because when you're sleep deprived, you need the most essential stages of sleep, which are REM. So you rebound it. So the more times you rebound in the REM, more chance of sleep paralysis. Next is alcohol. Why? It's because, number one, it knocks you out. But in the later stages of the night, you get multiple awakenings, which are more chances to what? Get sleep paralysis. No. So, uh, well, you know what? At least we know what's going on. Because everyone has one or two episodes. Mm -hmm. Even me. But if it happens recurrently, then we've got to think of these secondary causes. So now that we finally understand everything, we talked about the physiology of it, you're going to be okay. Kian? 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 Oh my god. Was that a dream? I need to see Dr. Raj. The doctor is in. We hope you enjoyed that video. If you have any additional questions on sleep or in health, go ahead and comment below and don't forget to hit subscribe.